Welcome back to my channel. What I want to share with you this episode is really a recipe or a, a blueprint, if you will, for authentic well-being. I have shared in previous videos that I am a applied positive psychology practitioner and I want to share the, the content or the essence of an acronym PERMA, P-E-R-M-A. And PERMA is a model that was developed by Dr. Martin Seligman and he's the founder of Positive Psychology and it comes out of the University of Pennsylvania. And he has five core elements that he believes really if we put our focus on these five core elements we really will have the key ingredients for authentic w sense of well-being in our lives. So again the acronym is PERMA, P-E-R-M-A and it stands for positive emotions, engagement, relationships, meaning, and accomplishments. So let's talk about each one of these a little bit more. This guideline or this outline is a, is a way for you to really live your life on purpose so that you know your life is full and you're, you're not counting days and you're not burning through days but you are really leaning into your life and you're, you're enriching your life each and every day but your life is enriching you. So it's really important that you use anything within your means so that you can truly live your life on purpose and, and put as much of a sense of well-being in your world as you possibly can. And if you follow this simple five course step, it really does maximize your ability to do just that. So with PERMA, again, the first is positive emotions. And having positivity and a positive attitude and a positive outlook can never be overstated especially when you first start your day. If you can start your day with one positive feeling, whether you are really tasting the taste of your morning coffee or tea or really enjoying your breakfast, or you just had a really good night's sleep and you wanna just wake up and sit on the side of the bed and just acknowledge how good you feel after such a great night's sleep, but find a way to start weaving a sense of positive emotions into your day incrementally throughout the day. It's a funny thing about positive emotions. The more you try to be positive or you look at the positive side of things, the more positive things show up. I don't know how that works, but I do know that it works. It's, it very much goes hand in hand with a sense of gratitude. You know, if you get in your car and you know all of a sudden one of your favorite songs comes on and you're feeling a sense of positivity, boy, are you maximizing the chances that you're actually gonna find a parking space when you get to work. It just seems to kind of catch up a momentum that positive attitudes and positive emotions coupled with a sense of gratitude really just team, seem to multiply and then show up throughout your day so that you can actually be that much more aware of the miracles that happen all around you. The E in PERMA stands for engagement, and what this means is that you need to be engaged in life, and I mean fully engaged in your life, not just a workaholic, not just a devoted wife and mother, not just, you know, anything that's just one-dimensional. You're meant to have a full 360-degree life, and that's what this engagement means, that you have to have areas of your life that you can develop, you know, so you, of course, if you have a career, you want to maximize your career and lean fully into that. If you have a family, please don't ignore your family at the expense of, you know, don't, don't ignore your family at the expense of anything. Your family has to come first. Relationships, friends, colleagues, um, people that you might be in clubs with, people that you enjoy going to the gym with or engaging in some sports with people that you might enjoy a hobby, maybe you play bridge, maybe you golf, you, whatever that is. If you're like me and you're, you know, you're the heady type and you like to take classes, then you're really going to enjoy the people that you know, are, are going to be in those classes, th those like-minded people engaging in similar, similar things that you enjoy as well. But be fully engaged in your life and really confront yourself if you're finding yourself being one-dimensional. The R in PERMA stands for relationships. So you're going to live and die by the relationships in your world, okay? Whether those are personal relationships or they're professional relationships. The quality of your relationships is going to mean everything. And it doesn't necessarily mean longevity in the sense of relationships, although the ability to make and sustain relationships is key 
for a sense of well-being, there will be those relationships that are only meant to be finite. You may have worked with somebody 10 years ago and thoroughly enjoyed that relationship and occasionally you get a Christmas card or you know a, a quick email or a thinking about you or maybe they reach out to you on one of the social media platforms and that's terrific but they're not necessarily in your world full time anymore and then there are those relationships that are personal and need to be nurtured and so that they can deepen and grow and then there are your professional relationships and your career will really depend on the quality of those kinds of relationships. I often tell people who, uh, or share with people that are looking for coaching guidance that it's all about the relationships in the workplace. Make sure that you have, are anchoring a relationship that you have. Make sure that you're reaching out to someone whose relationship might be a little tenuous or make sure that you are looking to see who do I need to develop a relationship with and start that process in place. Relationships are so very, very important for a sense of well-being, personally and professionally. The M in PERMA is for meaning. Now, with professional and family caregivers, I don't usually have to talk too much about meaning because they get a very deep sense of connection to the meaning of what they're doing, whether it's as a family caregiver or as a professional caregiver but I often have to talk to them about staying connected to the joy of what they do and to make sure that they do enough good self-care and offer themselves enough self-compassion that they can stay fully connected to the joy of that caregiving act. And the A in PERMA means accomplishments. So whether your accomplishments are big or whether they're little st you know, stepping stone accomplishments, don't put any judgment around them. All right, just, just say I accomplished something today. So maybe you lost two pounds, you know, over the last week. Well, that for me would be a big deal, you know, but it could be that you just enrolled in a graduate program or you just got a paper accepted or, you know, you just had a child graduate college. Whatever that is, whatever that accomplishment is, lean into it and celebrate it fully. When we talk about PERMA, positive emotions, engagement, relationships, meaning, and accomplishments, it is cyclical. And one potentiates the next. The more positive emotions you have, the more engaged in life you want to be. It is cyclical. So that the more positive emotions you have, the more engaged in your life you want to be. The more engaged in your life you are, the more relationships you develop. The more relationships you develop, the deeper the meaning of your life. The deeper the meaning of your life, the more you accomplish, big or small. And when you celebrate those accomplishments, it gives you positive emotions. So you can see how one potentiates the other. To give you a cycle of well-being, these are five components that if you lean into fully, you really can maximize your opportunity to have a sense of well-being, body, mind, and spirit.